the thing is called Bella Vista in bloom, but it has has everything to do with yard yarn bombing. That's right. Um, it kind of explain what yarn bombing is. So yarn bombing is an art form where you cover typically public structures, things like that with yarn, whether it's wrapping it in yarn or with knitted or crocheted objects that were made beforehand. And who, who will do this? Who actually puts this together? So under the direction of the Bella Vista Arts Council, which is a group that advises the city council on ways to get people more involved in public art and bring public art to the city, they started this initiative to get more than 25 um, artists from Bella Vista who are needle workers. So those are the people who knit or crochet, work with yarn, that kind of thing. And they came together and over the course of about two months, they created these flowers and bees and different letters to put up as this public art installation. Where will folks find these, uh, these works of art? They are going to be in the city in a few different areas at the Bella Vista Public Library. Um, you can see them in the back of the police department along the fence line. Like if you're getting on the highway, keep your eye out so you can see that. And at the Bella Vista Historical Museum. And, and it starts when? And it lasts for about a month or so, right? It does. It goes from June 11th to July 11th. Where do you think this leads? You mentioned this is a an initiative to to get things going. What's the end result? What do you hope happens with with this or, or with things like this? You know, it's kind of kind of has multiple results that we're hoping for. I mean, it gave a, a chance for local Bella Vista artists to get involved in public art. And specifically, you know, when you think of public art, it's typically paintings, murals, statues, sculptures, that kind of thing. This is people who do needlework. Now they can be involved in this public art initiative also. And it just brings, you know, brings something lighthearted to the residents that they can enjoy and look at as they drive by it or come to the uh, facilities to see. It just gets everyone a little more exposed to art. Maybe even get you interested in doing some needlework. You never That's know. Right. We did have some beginners who had never done it before to participate in helping this thing come into fruition, so. How big could this get? <laughs> <laughs> you know, depending on what you wanna cover, it could, could get really big. All right, let's uh, shift focus for a bit. Um, something that also starts on, on June 18th, it's the Bella Vista Library Summer Reading Program. Um, explain how that works now. So the Summer Reading Program, it actually starts on the 13th. 13th, okay. Um, the off party at the library is on Saturday the 18th. And what that is, is it you sign up for a challenge to read so many books in a certain period of time. Along the way, you can be eligible for prizes. There's events held at the library that fit the theme. This year's theme is Oceans of Possibilities. And then at the end of the time period, there is a pizza party for those who have registered and completed the challenge. And how do you register? And then is there, is there an age limit with this? There's no age limit. We encourage, I mean, a anyone is eligible to participate in this and there are activities planned for all age groups. Um, you can register by going to the library's website, bvpl.org, or you can call the library if you need help. And then you can also register during the kickoff event on the 18th at the library. And that's good, right, at the library itself. So that day is really the kickoff day to actually start the whole program. You can start logging your books starting on the 13th. Okay. But if you, have, if you need assistance registering or you're still unsure you want to participate, you just need a little more info, come to the kickoff party and let, they'll help you out. So how important is that program? I mean, getting, getting you know, kids to read or even, even teenagers or even adults to read, it's got to be huge. You know, this is a way just to encourage people to get into some books. Whatever kinds of books you want to read, they count. Whatever age you are, you can be a very small child and register, participate, and 
have somebody read books to you, or you can be a, an adult who reads chapter books and those count also. It's just a way to get people more involved in reading because, you know, being an active reader can take you any place you want to go. So for those who say there is nothing to do around here, there's a lot to do around here, especially in Bella Vista. That's right. It's summertime and we have all kinds of stuff kicking off. All right. Appreciate your time. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much. Have a great day.